Good morning, happy Wednesday, all my fellow brothers and sisters in Dahl. This is your friend Donnie from Miami giving you another Dolly review. And um, I'd like to bring to you a very special, I know I say that about every doll. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. A very special little lady. Well, not so little, because she is 18 inches tall, literally the size of a Barbie and a half, 150%. Um, this is 1976 or 1977. Let me see. Yes, she was. She's from 1976, which means she must have been available the following year, which is 1977. Uh, I'm talking about the one and only superstar, super size Barbie. Uh, this is the one who started it all because in subsequent years um, so, um, that, oh, that this doll was released, okay, um, she begat, <laughs> as it were, um, another super size uh, bridal Barbie and another super-sized Barbie with super hair, which, you know, I'll review in a separate video. Now, super-sized Barbie was simultaneously released with um, her black version, which is super-sized Christy, but I'll cover her in a separate video as well. Um, besides super-sized Barbie and Christy, uh, a couple of years later, other companies decided to jump on the bandwagon of the 18-inch fashion doll, because after Super Size Barbie came out, Mego decided to do their 18-inch candy. Um, a couple of years after that, Durham, or Durham, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, they came up with um, their 18-inch Charlie doll. Um, then soon after that, Betty Teen Tong doll was released, I believe the early 80s, also as an 18-inch version, okay? Um, and later on, there was a 17 and a half inch version of a doll called the Supermodels, which I've reviewed in other videos, and I will make other videos that uh, of Supermodels that are rerouted. Um, 18 inch fashion dolls are, for some reason, don't seem to have a very large following, okay? And um, I believe the only reason why these dolls aren't as popular as they could be is simply because they take up so much room. These big girls take up a lot of room, you know, unfortunately. I would say that's their only downside. Again, um, because other than that, whether it's Barbie, Christy, uh, Candy, uh, Charlie, and all, um, those, these 18 inch girls have a lot of personality. I'm absolutely nuts about them. But I must confess, um, Super Size Barbie, at least for me, was not love at first sight. Um, somewhere in the early 2000s, you know, I saw um, Super Size Barbie in a, and Super Size Christie, rather, both. I saw them in a book. Okay, uh, let me take a good shot here. And when I saw them in a book, uh, standing next to a regular size Barbie, I thought they were creepy. Oh, yes. I, I did not, again, it was not love at first sight. I thought they were creepy. Oh my God, so big, so big, you know? And then a few years later, you know, um, I just, I mean, I just, after I saw them in a book, again, I didn't care for them. So I just went, you know, collecting the regular 11 and a half inch until a few years later, you know, uh, I started browsing through eBay, looking at the, you know, super size Barbies. And then I said, what the hell, let me try. You know, so because I was I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them or not, I I bought um, a really raggedy um, super size Barbie. You know, just you know, just to try it out. So I got her. You know, and once she came in the mail, I opened up the box and oh, you know, it's um yes, it's like you know, I was like at last my true love has come along. <laughs> I was so impressed about how beautiful this doll was when I had her in person. The creepiness went away, you know, and, and, and I fell in love. Um, this doll, um, besides being aesthetically pleasing, okay, I believe she has a lot of personality, okay? Um, I have uh, uh, several friends 
who sew, you know, for 18 inch Barbie and, and her friends or colleagues rather. Um, and uh, one of the things that my friends who sew for her is that they love how uh, fabrics drape better. Okay, uh, for some reason, you know, her size makes most fabrics just, just drape and work better. 